All right, BFIT Nation, looks like we are good to go. Welcome to your 2022 BFIT Live program workout. If you're new to the channel, we welcome you. Uh, as a recap here, our, our Exchange BFIT Health and Wellness program provides live, just under 30 minute programmed workouts available for you to join with us with myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, on just moving our bodies, staying active. Uh, trying to jumpstart or continue an already active lifestyle. So uh, again, this is just under a 30 minute live program workout. We can do uh, different types of movements, functional movements, high intensity movements, resistance based movements, cardio based movements. Uh, but for today specifically, we have uh, more cardio based movements and we're going to start on the foundation since it is a brand new year we are focusing on form we are focusing on technique and we are focusing on just jump starting and getting our bodies active so the way that our bfit live program workout works is i will demonstrate four different types of movements uh, that we will tackle during today's live workout uh, our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, giving us time to kind of settle back in and kind of reset our minds and refocus on the next few rounds ahead of us. Uh, we will do some dynamic stretching <clears throat> before we get started. Then we will jump directly into our workouts. But again, uh, this new year gives us uh, a chance to really focus on the opportunities to strengthen, to recover, to revive our mental health and wellness and just to celebrate our active body. So with that, uh, let's go through the four movements that we have for today. All right, team, again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, L listen for any uh, coaching cues, any tips, any techniques that you can take away <clears throat> from, from these four movements. That way, whenever we tackle them within our workout, you know exactly what to listen to and exactly what to kind of prepare your body for um, <clears throat> during the workout. So let's start off with the four different movements here. Starting with movement number one, we have a squat jump. So a few different options here, uh, two options to be exact with that squat jump, <clears throat> depending where we are in our fitness level today, uh, we're looking at feet shoulder width apart as always a soft bend at our knees. Uh, we want to push those hips back and down <clears throat> into our squat. So keeping our chest up, pushing our hips back and down, our knees track over our toes. So pushing those hips back, chest stays up. We're here at that lower part of our squat, wherever that may be. And from here, you're gonna extend up, <clears throat> extend up and explode into a squat jump. So a nice explosive movement here into a squat jump. Really control that landing, absorb <clears throat> your weight, absorb your body here into that squat jump. If that jump isn't with us today, <clears throat> excuse me, let's just go into a squat, all right team? So again, feet shoulder width apart, softening in our knees, pushing those hips back, keeping that chest up, control your way down, and then you're right back up. All right, really not leaving the floor with this modification. But squat jump for movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna take it down to the floor here. All right, team, we have T push-ups. So a few different modifications here if needed, but let's start off with the T push-up, okay? We wanna make sure that our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders into our high plank position. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. Try to keep our hips square to the floor. So our hips are facing the floor. Uh, the majority of this movement here, <clears throat> we're gonna come down into our push up. So hands again, underneath our shoulders, feet, shoulder width apart, into your push up, up. And then we are gonna rotate left arm and or right arm up to the sky, right, right at our center line right here. Our gaze is gonna be following our fingertips. We're right back, both hands on the ground, down into our push-up, and then we're gonna alternate left hand, right hand. All right, team, if we need to scale back, let's go ahead and drop to our knees. We wanna lead with our chest. Again, hands shoulder width apart, leading with our chest here into our push-up, right back into a high plank, and then you're going to remove the rotation. All right, team, so control our push-up here back up and then pause off of the knees into a high plank position for one second. All right, team. So push up back up to a high plank with the removal of the rotation will be the modification for movement number two. 
All right, we're right back up top here. Movement number three, we, look, we are looking at reverse lunges with a knee drive. So with or without a knee drive for this reverse lunges here. We're gonna to come to the top of our workout space. We're gonna extend one leg, left foot or right foot to the back, all right? So nice wide lunge stance, nice wide stance here. From here, we're gonna drop that rear knee down. So goal here, our leg, our front loaded leg wants to be at a 90 degree bend or knee tracking over the toe, all right? That's gonna be where we want our leg to follow. Then we're right back up to standing position with a knee drive, okay? So reverse lunge with a knee drive, reset, opposite leg, reverse lunge with a knee drive, okay? That's gonna be movement number two. If we need to take out that knee drive and just go back into that reverse lunge back up top, let's go ahead and do that as well, all right, team? And last and final movement out of that movement number three, we have movement number four, which is our plank variation. So we're gonna start off 40 seconds of work. So we're gonna start off with a low plank. <clears throat> so we're gonna come back onto the floor here. If you have a mat, this may be a great option to kind of include that into your plank variations. So <clears throat> low plank here, we're gonna hold our low plank 40 seconds. So elbows are gonna be underneath our shoulders and we're gonna hold that low plank position for that 40 seconds, okay? That's gonna be the first round. Second round, we're gonna go into side plank. Side plank here, stack our elbow underneath our shoulder, lift up our hips, and you want that relatively straight line from our knee, our neck, all the way down to our ankles, as well as that aerial view too. So make sure to push those hips forward, that way you can stay in a nice straight line. So left side, right side, and then <clears throat> round number four, we're looking at a high plank variation. So you're back into that high plank position, just like your push-up for round number four. We're gonna include a little bit of a scale up version for that <clears throat> fourth round. But those are gonna be the four movements for today, team. Again, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. All right, great to have you here today. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them below, okay? Our team and myself will go ahead and uh, respond to those as best as we can. And if you have uh, any modifications that you would like to see, <clears throat> again, go ahead and let us know. But welcome to a new year. Welcome to your BFIT Live program workouts. Let's get started, team. So let's get started with some dynamic stretching. This is going to be a great way to warm up our body, to really focus on getting some blood flow moving to our body. That way we can uh, <clears throat> really prepare ourselves for the workout ahead. All right, team. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch, okay? <clears throat> we're going to take our right leg. We're going to extend it back. We're going to take our left arm and extend it forward and really pushing those hips forward. So alternate left leg and right leg. We'll go at our own pace here, but we'll do each stretch for about 30 seconds. All right, pushing those hips forward once again, extending that arm up a little taller each time. You can feel those shoulder blades coming together, hip flexors stretching out, quad stretching out. Good, really feeling out, kind of scanning your body here. This is a great time to see where we're at today. Today's a little different than yesterday, so your body may be feeling a little different as well. <clears throat> All right, team, let's go into a reverse lunge with a reach. We have a few uh, reverse lunges like on movement three, so this is a great way to warm up with that movement. So we're gonna come to our top of our workout space here. We're gonna send that right leg back, right leg down, right leg, right hand goes up and reaches over to our left side. You're gonna feel that stretch in our lats, which is our back, the side of our back here. Go ahead and switch, left leg goes forward. Left arm goes up and reaches over to our right. Good. There we go. Really think about engaging our lower body here. Sitting back into that reverse lunge, stretching over, feeling that stretch within our lats. Good, a few more here. Last one. All right, team, lateral lunges here. So we're gonna take a nice wide stance, wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna have our toes facing forward in that fixed position. From here, we're gonna shift our weight to the right and to a left, right and to the left here. We're gonna feel that activation in our inner thigh, working at a different plane of motion here, <clears throat> left to right, 
keeping our chest up, resetting at the top. Good. Good, really resetting, push those hips forward at the top of the movement here. <clears throat> A little back to forth here. All right, last three, two, one. All right, team. Standing back up here, a few hip circles to really looking at opening up our hips. Left and right leg, front to back. At your own pace here. <clears throat> All right, back to front here. Good. Again, good to have you here with today's BeFit Live workout. First workout of the year. Time to get after it, team. Time to get after it. All right. YTWs to finish us out here. Uh, just to really looking at targeting our mid to upper back. A little bit of upper body shoulders as well. So come to the center of our space here. Again, foundation is key here. So feet shoulder width apart, soften at our knees. It's going to be our center here. From here, we're going to extend up into a big Y formation. Thumbs face in the back of the room. There you go. Back to center. Big T formation here. Good. Stretch it out left and right. And a big W. Bringing those shoulder blades together. Back to center. All right. Back up top to the big Y. Good, reset, big T. Again, thumb space in the back of the room. Big W. All right, one more time around. Y, a little taller. A little further from left to right, squeezing, pausing. Big W, showing off our biceps here. All right, team, shake it off. A little freestyle here as I start my timer. <clears throat> this is a great time to kind of focus on anything that we may have missed just for yourself to warm up. All right, team, remember, movement number one, squat jumps. Movement number two, T push-ups. Movement number three, reverse lunge with a knee drive. And movement number four, we're gonna go through a progression of a plank. Progression of a plank. So low plank, side plank left, side plank right, and high plank. All right, team. So those are gonna be the four movements for today. Let's get started. Towel off, again, have your water ready and available to you. Don't go without staying hydrated. So take the time you need and stay hydrated throughout today's workout. All right, team, let's start this year off strong. All right, let's start this year off on the right foot. Uh, let's see, everything's good to go on my end. So squat jumps, again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, 10 seconds before we get started, all right? Couple of key notes. So once again, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees, pushing those hips back and extending and exploding up into that jump. 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go. All right, pace yourself here. Find that tempo that's comfortable for you. Really jump up. Round number one, I want you to think about learning all of the movements that we have today. Good. Doesn't take a lot of air to really feel that extension and that explosiveness into our quads. 13 seconds here, keeping that chest up when we extend back into our squat. Be mindful, I want you to be in control the whole time. Last three, two, one, and stand up nice and tall. Catch our breath here, get ready to go down into our T push-up position. All right, here's your 20 seconds to recover. 10 seconds right now. All right, we're in that high plank position here. Again, hands stacked underneath our shoulders. High plank here. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Down into our push up. Nice full rotation, opening up that arm. Back down, both hands on deck. Again, we're working for 40 seconds here. 25. Again, if we need to modify, Let's lead with our chest and then up into our plank. All right, team. That's the modification here. Take our time here. 10 seconds. Out in five. Last three, two, one. Time. Good job. Setting up nice and tall now. Off of the floor. 
reverse lunge with a knee drive. All right, team. Good job. Halfway through the first round. Five seconds here coming to the top of our workout space. We are up in two, one. Here we go. Reverse lunge here, pushing those hips back, dropping those legs back. Option number one, sticking with that reverse lunge. If it's within us today, let's include a nice strong knee drive. With that knee drive, it's really forcing us to balance off of that one foot, stabilize, control, again, engaging our core. 12 seconds here. <clears throat> Out in five. Three, two, one, and recover here. 20 seconds here. <sighs> nice deep breaths here. Let's control our breathing here. Plank variations here. We're going to start off in a low plank. So our elbows are going to be directly underneath our shoulders. In that high plank position, 40 seconds on the work. Coming up, two, one. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock. We're going to hold our low plank. All right. <clears throat> this is where I want you to focus. Our gaze is right in between our hands. You want that nice flat back. Really push down into your elbows. Keeping that, keeping those hips square to the floor. But also don't let them dip, right? So you want them up just a little bit. Push back into your heels to engage your lower body. Last four. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, team. <clears throat> 60 seconds here. 60 seconds of rest. 60, 60 seconds to recover. How do we feel? How do we feel about that first round, team? Hmm? 45 here. All right. Again.